Princess, how are you? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to paint hair with a mix technique using watercolors, inks and colored pencils in just a few easy steps. But before we start, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Theodora Agastelionti. I'm an artist and a content creator for Zanat Supplies. I'm a professional artist. I have studied BA Fine Art in Leeds Arts University and I have a master's degree in art and design from Actor College Middlesex University. And I will be sharing with you techniques and tips that will hopefully help you develop. So let's start. It. Before you start painting, you should add the colors that you are going to use in your palette. I have added burnt amber mixed with Penis Grey and some raw sienna. Before you start painting, maybe you should uh, test the colors first on a scrap of paper. Just make sure that they're the colors and tones that you tend to use. Um, and you should start with a thin layer uh, of color, a wash actually, of the lightest color of the hair. And you should always have in mind that what when painting the watercolors, uh, you should think in layers and you should wait for its layer to dry first. But if you're impatient, just like me, you can use a hair dryer for a minute or two and that should speed up the process. Now I'm starting from uh, the roots. The roots are usually darker and the ends are lighter. So I'm using um, a darker color. You should paint in a line motion, no back and forth and round motions. And you should be careful not to overwork it because that could damage the paper. Now I'm adding a darker wash of color uh, and I'm using a large brush. More specifically, I'm using number 10 round full squirrel brush from Zen Art. You should remember that large brushes are good for washes of color and smaller round brushes are good to create hair strokes and details. Now that my previous layers have dried, I'm using an even darker color in linear motion to create volume and I'm adding a darker tone to the hair that is stacked beneath her ear. I am using a number two round brush from Zenat. More specifically, it's part of the miniature set and it's perfect for details. As I'm waiting for her top hair to dry, I move in to the lengths of the hair. Don't forget to paint in sections and follow the direction of the hair. The hair that is near her neck are darker, so I'm adding darker values. And that should also give more depth to the hair. Thank you. 
So the trick to painting hair, as mentioned before, is to keep building up and keep adding lines of hair until you get it as dark as you need to, but make sure you don't cover the highlights and keep the contrast full depth. For the final touches, I'm using number two Ringer Full Scorel Brush from Zen Art to create a few flyaway hairs and that really makes the difference because it makes hair look more realistic and more carefree and natural. I'm also using a black colored pencil to add a few more uh, values to the hair that is near her neck, that is the darkest. So that was it for today's video. I hope you find it useful. I hope you give my tips a try. If you do, let us know how it went down in the comments. And if you have any tips of your own, please share them with us. If you want to see me paint a portrait using watercolors and inks, there is one on our channel, so don't miss that out. And if you want to see more videos from us, please comment, like, and share, and subscribe, of course. Thank you very much.